It was about efficiency, effectiveness, and economy at the Turks and Caicos Islands telecommunications launch at beaches Wednesday night, with speakers including the governor, the minister, the chairman, and the director general. The evening was informative and in many opinions revolutionary as a new licensee was sanctioned. To the myriad of business, government, and community professionals present, Mr. Bennett Stubbs, chairman of the commission, explained that the TCITC is established for motivation through smart legislation. In business, three main important features of any successful business are location, location, location. And it has been said that the mark of a successful regulator also has three main features. Transparency, transparency, transparency. And we are striving to demonstrate that important approach to our work. The Governor, His Excellency Richard Tafari, agreed that the telecommunications industry has opened up the world in a way that there is no turning back. He cited that it is undoubtedly central to the development of the country and called competition good. And it's become such an important part uh, of our lives that it's a vital part of an economy. And an economy like the Turks and Caicos Islands, where we're growing so fast, we have to have a telecommunications sector, an industry, which is up to the job. Because there are a number of things that can slow us down. There's all sorts of things that can slow us down. But one of the key things that could slow us down would be inefficient telecommunications. Of course, when you have a playing field and you've got more and more players on it, you need to have an umpire, you need to have a referee, you need to have someone there to see that you play by the rules. Or the big guy uh, can sometimes muscle out the smaller ones to the uh, disadvantage uh, not only of the industry but also of consumers. So we have to have someone looking after the interests of the consumers and looking after the interests of the industry as a whole. We can't have, we can't have a free-for-all uh, or all of us will lose. So I want to pay tribute uh, on this occasion, and uh, it's, it's a great honor to pay tribute to the, the government for their uh, foresight. Minister of Telecommunications, the Honorable Jeffrey Hall, thanked forerunners and noted some strides in the industry. In 2004, the commission was formed and was deemed a fulfillment of a policy published in 2003, and new licensees were brought on, which have subsequently forced costs down and service levels up. The minister shared that there are continued advancements on the horizon. The commission continued to encourage prospective investors in entering the growing market for innovative communication technologies and is currently processing a number of license applications that will further enhance our choice and technologi technological progress for consumers, business and educators. The minister also signed on a new licensee, and while it does not mean a new cell phone company, fixed phone line provider, or a new option for internet service, it does bring independence to all of the existing operators as it offers expanded bandwidth. Columbus Networks will allow operators to have their own link via their undersea fiber optic cable. As you have just seen, we are delighted to have representatives from... Um, the operators of our international undersea cable operators, Columbus Network Service, um, um, who we've just signed off a license, who will be providing um, direct service to all of the, the operators. It was also shared that there is a website for the commission underway, that there is a draft legislation in circulation which industry partners were asked to comment upon, and this new policy expands the current regulation framework to include broadcasting.